Привет! Привет! My name is Nadia and this is YouTube channel called Russian World. And today we are going to talk about cases, Russian cases. Especially the accusative case of singular nouns. We have already learned the prepositional case and the nominative case. So today's video will be divided into two parts. The accusative case of inanimate nouns and the accusative case of animate nouns. If you have no idea what does it mean, you can check the very first grammar topic. I explained everything about this inanimate and animate nouns there. So you can check this video and find out something new about these nouns there. And let me explain you what does the accusative case of nouns mean. The accusative case denotes the direct object to which the action passes over. And nouns in the accusative case will answer questions ЧТО or КАВО. Let's check some examples. Я читаю книгу. The direct object here is the book. I'm reading the book. So what exactly am I reading? What exactly am I doing? I'm reading the book. So the direct object is the book. That's why we use it in the accusative case. Or one more example. Я вижу мужчину. Who exactly do I see? I see a man. The man. That's why this word, the man, will be used in the accusative case. So now let's take a look at the table and find out how will we change words into the accusative case. Now we are going to talk about inanimate nouns. So we know that inanimate nouns answer question ЧТО, which means what. And if you look at the table, you will see that for inanimate masculine nouns, the form of the accusative case coincide with the nominative case. Стул Sarai Slavar. The same thing happened with all neuter nouns. The form of the accusative case coincide with the nominative case. Akno Poli. And the same thing happens with feminine inanimate nouns with a soft sign at the end. Like sol, for example. But if feminine nouns end with letters A or ya, then the accusative case form will be changed. So if feminine nouns end with letters letter A, then if we want to make this noun accusative, we have to remove letter A and instead of letter A, we will put letter O. So it was школа in nominative, but in the accusative it will be школу. If feminine nouns end with letter Я and we want to make this noun accusative, we have to remove letter Я and instead of letter Я we will put letter U. For example, песня nominative and песню Accusative. That was pretty straightforward, right? Okay, and now let's talk about the accusative case of animate nouns. So, animate nouns in the accusative case answer question кого, whom. And now let's take a look at the table. Here you can see masculine animate nouns and feminine animate nouns. So, those masculine nouns that end with consonant, for example, друг, in the accusative case, we will add letter А. So, друга, друга. Those masculine nouns that end with letter U, in the accusative case, we will remove letter U and instead of it, we will put letter Я, гения, гения. So it was genie and will be genia. And those masculine nouns that end with a soft sign, we will remove a soft sign in the accusative case and place letter ya instead of it. So in nominative it was preподаватель, 
But in the accusative, it will be преподавателя. Преподавателя. And now let's take a look at feminine animate nouns. You can see that feminine animate nouns with a soft sign at the end will stay the same. So we will not change anything, we will not remove or add anything. Be really attentive about this because as you can see, masculine nouns with a soft sign at the end will be changed a bit different in the accusative case. So we will remove a soft sign and place letter ya instead of it if this noun is masculine. But if it is feminine, it will be without any change, with no change. And feminine animate nouns with letters a or ya at the end will follow the same rule as we had before, as I explained you previously. So letter a will be changed to letter u, like mama, mamu. And letter ya will be changed to letter u, like семья and семью. But be attentive about some exceptions. We know that there are some words that denote men and they have letters a or ya at the end. But these words are masculine, they are not feminine. But in the accusative case, they will follow usual rule. So letter a will be changed to letter u, like дедушка, дедушку. And letter ya will be changed to letter u, like dadja, dad. And now let's take a look at some examples and read the sentences with the accusative case. I underlined those words that I used in the accusative case. Аня очень любит мороженое. Каждый день она покупает мороженое в магазине. Я вижу огромное, красивое, широкое поле. Бабушка ежедневно смотрит программу «Животные». Кого ты ждешь? Я жду маму, папу, дедушку и друга. Моя мама всегда добавляет соль в это блюдо. Я вижу огромный дом. Вчера на уроке мы рисовали семью. Мы любим готовить, и сегодня мы готовим суши. Что ты делаешь? Я готовлю лазанью. Дети часто ненавидят капусту. Что вы будете есть? Мы будем есть салат и пюре. Спасибо. Ты слышишь что-то странное? Я слышу только преподавателя. Okay, in the next slide, the next picture will be your homework. So your task here is to open the brackets and change verbs and nouns into correct form. And I recommend you to pause the video right now because the next slide will be answers so that you can check yourself. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope now you understand the accusative case much better than before. Please subscribe our channel and like this video. And I look forward to see your comments. Пока-пока. Всего хорошего.